So I've come across this problem here on my farm in that I have two sets of goats. I have the males and I've got the females. So the females are easy. They've got a little bit of a bigger area. I gave them a hay cradle, so I'm giving them a round bale. But the males, there's just not quite enough room to put a round bale in there with them. <clears throat> so what I need to do is I have to keep giving them square bales. But the thing with the square bales is I don't have a holder for them. So today I'm going to make a holder for my square bales, but I'm going to use this. What's left over from the upper level of the porch of my garage. So come along and you're going to see how I do this. So first step in this process is to harvest one of the railings. So I still have one right here, but I'm going to use this one right here. Pull the tractor up, put the forks on it, do the railing right over. That way I'm not having to maneuver it down. No chance of me falling, getting hurt, so on and so forth. But there it is. So now I'm going to take it around the front of my garage so I can start putting this together. So before we can get the project going outside the garage, we got to get the OG in the house. And you can see how well that's going. So Lisa's got full control over the dog. He listens to everything she says. And uh, he's very, very obedient. And uh, she's doing great, absolutely great. So within the next uh, 20, 30 minutes, she should have this dog under control and in the house. All right, so this is the plan. I'm gonna make a hay rack for the goats. I'm gonna make it 48 inches long and I'm gonna cut basically this in half. I'm gonna make a V with it like this so I can just put the square bell right down inside of it. And see how this is made right here with these rails? This is almost perfect. I'm just gonna leave this alone. So literally all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut 48 inches off this and then I'm gonna cut off another 48 inches. I'm gonna make it into a V so I can just drop the, the square bell right down inside of it and feed the goats. But what is really cool is that I was gonna go buy one of these things and these are a couple hundred dollars to buy at any of the big box stores. And I'm literally, I was gonna take this railing off and replace it on our back porch. And I was literally just gonna probably throw this away. So here I'm just recycling the wood. It's costing me little to nothing. And then it's 40. And that's what I want. So I gotta cut that off. Now, this is dead even right here, or dead center. So I'm gonna cut this right here. I'm gonna measure 48 inches exactly down there. And then we will have, be able to split this in half. And then I'll be able to put it together for the V. So I'm gonna cut two lengths at 40 inches and that, those are gonna be my two uprights. Here's the first one.
hold that piece up there also. You here? Move, yep. Well, we got to hold this piece up in the air along with that. There you go. At least if you want to grab that side of the board. So now I'm gonna cut the legs for this, and I decided I want to go with 37 inches. And one of the reasons why I went with that is gonna basically utilize all the wood that I have left of the 4x4s. Four that way I don't have to go buy any, and I'm not gonna waste any. So I'm gonna do 37 inches per leg. So I need to cut four legs at 37 inches each. Awesome. Alright, so here it is. I'm gonna flip it over. So I repurposed hay feeder for the goats. And uh, that went together really well. Like really, really well. I'm, I'm impressed. And uh, everything's based most of it was repurposed wood, except for these two by fours. I happen to have those in a garage. But um, everything else is recycled, so or repurposed. So let's see how we're doing here. I'm gonna pick it up with the loader, and we're gonna take it out back and put some hay in it for the goats.
sister's like, what are you guys doing? You're a good boy, buddy. You wanna come see? Gotta go to your safe place, Chester. <laughs> no. You gotta go to your safe place, buddy. Go on. Go to your safe place, buddy. Go. Come on. No. There you go. Good boy. So I've got some sweet feed and I am taking this over to get Simon and Garfunkel their goat shelter so it's safe when we bring in their new hay feeder. Come on, boys. Hey, Garfunkel. Hey, Simon. I know, boys. Let's go. They're so good. They listen really well, actually. I know you want, you know I have your sweet feed, don't you? Now they'll happily munch on that and I can close this up so they'll be safe. It really helps to have a door on their shelter for reasons like this. So if we ever have to bring the tractor in here, we know that our animals are safe. The girls are like, what is going on? We've got our girl and our boy, our girl goats and boy goats separated. Oh, well, it looks like he's just gonna put it right there. They're very apprehensive. Oh, there, Garfy sees it. What is that Garfunkel? He wants to get Lucy's attention in a big way. <laughs> so my hay feeder is complete. And what I really like about this is I can put two bales in it at once. So it'll hold plenty of bales for these guys, get them through. They should be good for about a week on this amount of hay, if not longer. Well, thanks for watching.